Our next guest, certainly one of the most successful and talented writers and performers in the history of popular music. <laughs> uh, she has a brand new record album out and called, entitled City Streets. Here, look, what a coincidence. I have a copy of it on my desk. Uh, please welcome back to this program our very good friend, Carol King. Sounds very nice. What a band. It don't get much better than this. Oh, very good. And you sound terrific. And you look great. Oh, sure. How old are you? <laughs> no, how, how old a person are you? Can I ask you that? Maybe no, I won't. you can ask, but I'm not going to answer. Right. You look terrific. Here now is a list of the songs you have written. And, and they do this all of the time on television shows, but I think in this case, it's of particular significance. Where do you hear some of these songs? Um, Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow? Some Kind of Wonderful. What a sweet thing that was. Every breath I take. Now, that wasn't the police song, was it? No. Okay. Um, take good care of my baby. Crying in the rain. Locomotion. Go away, little girl. Up on the roof. Down in the basement. Not a big hit, but yet it was a song. 
One fine day, hey girl, on and on and on and on. Unbelievable list of things that you're responsible for. told my middle name is I didn't know you wrote that yeah. I still have people that I know for years that find out it's amazing it's amazing you have quite a talent uh, where, where are you living these days um, on an airplane I think really? I travel for, for a while and maybe still you had a, uh, a place in Idaho a big ranch oh, or something? Yeah, I've still got it and yeah. I still spend some time there yeah. definitely a and all over the country then yeah, yeah. David I want to do something yes Carol David sure you always ask me questions uh -huh. this time I got to ask you a question <laughs> I mean, we're, we're out of time. No. I'm sorry, Kurt. Thank you for being here, honey. We enjoyed the song. Come no, back no, again. David. No, 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 no. You're not going to... All right. No, okay. Go ahead. Ax me. Okay. This is a trend on this program. I understand. Yeah, I know. No, well, Betty you're... Davis was here last night. Yes, I heard. And she only... She had three questions, but she only got yeah. to ask you two. I know. I inadvertently I just... knocked her over. <laughs> uh, well... It was a mistake. All right. Here we okay. go. Okay. This is the question. When uh, I am at home watching turning this... turning red. Yes, I blush I easily. Yeah. When I am at home watching this program, as I always do... Of course. Um, I always wonder one thing. Why do you, being a man of fairly g good height... I'm enormous! Sit so tall above your guests? Well, that, you answered, you asked and answered the question all in one uh, phrase. Well, though. no, because your I'm an chair enormous guy. is higher. <laughs> I'm 6'8", 340. <laughs> it's a control thing, oh, isn't it? it's not it? a control Double thing. Truth. Look, measure the damn seat. <laughs> It's the same. It's the same. He's got this control no, it's on not. it. I've watched Here, it's, you want to sit control. here? It is not. Sit here. It'll be the exact same oh, difference. God. I'm going to look short. What? We're out I'm of time? I know we're out of time, but I wanted to prove a point to this woman. Look, I'm just an enormous guy. Who's taller? No, no, but see... Oh, Who oh. is taller? All right, but if you, if, you, if you weighed as much as I weighed, this would come down a little. If I weigh as much as you weighed, I wouldn't be here. I don't, I don't know what that means. All right, we, we have to go. We have to go now because Marv Albert is here. <laughs> and, and Marv doesn't complain about things.